Have you ever looked at a bowl of noodles and wondered, why are they yellow? Whether it's a steaming bowl of ramen, a plate of stir-fried lo mein, or even instant noodles from a pack, that distinct golden hue is a visual cue that sparks cravings. It's so familiar, yet most people don't really stop to question it. Is it food coloring? Is it egg? Is there something else going on? Today, we're diving deep into the science, history, and culture behind the yellow color of noodles. Spoiler alert! There's more than one answer, and some of them might surprise you. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with one of the most common explanations, egg noodles. A lot of people assume that all yellow noodles get their color from eggs, and that's partially true. Eggs, specifically the yolks, are rich in natural pigments called carotenoids. These pigments, particularly lutein, give the yolk its golden orange color. When egg is added to noodle dough, it imparts a natural yellow hue. This is especially true in many Chinese-style egg noodles, where eggs are a core ingredient. In Italian pasta like tagliatelle or fettuccine, you also see this golden tone thanks to egg-rich dough. But here's the twist. Not all yellow noodles contain eggs. So if eggs aren't always responsible, what else is at play? Enter Kansui. If you've ever eaten ramen or certain types of Chinese noodles and noticed their yellow tint and chewy texture, chances are you've encountered alkaline noodles. Kansui is an alkaline solution traditionally made from sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate, and it's a game changer in noodle making. It's what gives ramen its springy bite and unique color. The alkalinity of Kansui raises the pH of the dough and this high pH causes a chemical reaction that alters the pigment in the flour, specifically the flavonoids. This reaction turns the dough yellow, even if there's no egg or coloring added. Think of it like the way onions turn yellow when cooked with baking soda. Same principle, different dish. It's pure chemistry, and it's fascinating. The history of kansui goes back to China, where alkaline noodles were first made using natural alkaline waters from regions like Inner Mongolia. When ramen was introduced to Japan, the use of kansui came with it. In fact, early ramen makers in Japan sourced kansui from Lake Khan in Inner Mongolia, which is where the term kansui comes from, literally meaning alkaline water. Over time, Japanese ramen evolved but kansui remained a staple. Without it, ramen noodles wouldn't have that signature bounce, elasticity, or golden glow that fans around the world love today. Now, let's talk instant noodles. That iconic block of curly noodles inside your favorite cup might look yellow too, but what's responsible here? In some cases, it's still the use of kansui. Instant noodle makers often want that traditional ramen look and feel, so they use alkaline salts to preserve both color and texture. But in many mass-produced varieties, food coloring may be added to standard wheat flour dough to achieve a consistent yellow color. That's because industrial production favors predictability, and coloring is cheaper and easier than natural methods like eggs or kansui. Don't worry, though. The color additives used are usually food safe, regulated, and applied in trace amounts. Believe it or not, sometimes even the type of flour used can influence noodle color. Certain wheats, especially semolina used in Italian pasta, have a naturally yellowish tinge due to their higher carotenoid content. Durum wheat, in particular, is known for producing a more golden pasta. This is why some pasta looks more yellow without any egg at all. In Asian noodles, however, standard wheat flour is usually white or off-white, which means the yellowing has to come from another source, like egg, kansui, or coloring. 
The refining process of the flour also affects how much natural pigment remains in the dough, so even something as subtle as milling can influence that final bowl of noodles. Here is a surprising layer to the story, the psychology of food color. Bright or golden colored foods often appear more appetizing to us. It's a visual signal that says rich, flavorful, and delicious. Food manufacturers and chefs understand this, and over the years, yellow noodles have become a kind of visual shorthand for comfort and indulgence. Whether it's eggy pasta, glistening lo mein, or spicy instant ramen, that golden hue primes your brain to expect taste, warmth, and satisfaction. In a way, the color itself has become part of the flavor experience, even if it technically doesn't taste like anything. In addition to eggs and kansui, some traditional noodle recipes use turmeric or annatto to create a yellow color. Turmeric adds a warm golden tone and is sometimes found in Southeast Asian noodles. Annatto, derived from the seeds of the acciote tree, is another natural dye used in Latin American and Filipino cuisines. These ingredients aren't just for color, they often add subtle flavors as well. You might also see these being used in fusion or artisanal noodle products that emphasize natural ingredients or unique regional twists. So how can you tell what's in your noodles? The answer lies in the ingredient list. If you're buying packaged noodles, check the label. Look for words like egg, alkaline salts, sodium carbonate, color added, or even turmeric. Countries have different labeling laws but most require additives and coloring to be disclosed. And if you're dining out or ordering noodles at a restaurant, it never hurts to ask. Some people are sensitive to alkaline salts or prefer to avoid artificial colorings, so it's good to be informed. So, why are noodles yellow? Well, now you know, there's no single answer. Sometimes it's egg, sometimes it's kansui. Sometimes it's turmeric or even artificial coloring. And in a few cases, it's just the natural pigment of the flower. The color can be a clue to texture, flavor, or tradition. It's a thread that connects culture, chemistry, and cuisine. So the next time you slurp up a bowl of golden noodles, take a second to appreciate the story behind that color. It's not just food. It's science, history, and art, all rolled into one delicious bite. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.